we assessed that there were approximately a thousand terrorists who participated in yesterday's invasion of Israel, about a thousand bloodthirsty Palestinians who went house to house, building to building, in search for Israeli civilians, massacred. Approximately 700 Israelis have been killed, and that's civilians and military included, and uh, more than 2,100 have been wounded. It is uh, by far the, the, uh, the worst day in Israeli history. Never before have so many Israelis been killed by one single thing, let alone enemy activity on one day. And if you're Americans and want to compare this to something in American history, then this could be a 9-11 and a Pearl Harbor wrapped into one. We have uh, amassed around 100,000 reserve troops who are currently in southern Israel preparing to execute the task that the Israeli government has designated the IDF to do. Our job is to make sure that at the end of this war, Hamas will no longer have any military capabilities to threaten Israeli civilians with. And in addition to that, we are also to make sure that Hamas will not be able to govern the Gaza Strip. Because you see, the situation today is fundamentally different than what it was two days ago. And at the end of this war, we will change the situation for the better around our border in Gaza, and it will be much better for Israeli civilians, and it will be better for the Palestinians as well.